Hello there, minions. Wheezy here again, and today I'm so excited to talk about new Battlefield news. They have officially announced Battlefield 2042 Portal. Let's go talk about it. Okay, minions. So, July 22nd, EA Play Live happened, and EA talked about this new uh, Battlefield mode. So, the way they talk about it, there's going to be kind of three core uh, experiences in Battlefield. One that still hasn't been announced, um, but the one that they were talking about for EA Play Live that they just announced was EA Play, not EA Play, Battlefield 2042 Portal. Um, and so, there's a lot of exciting stuff here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play you... Um, the segment from EA Play Live, and I'm going to talk over it. I may pause as we go and, and, and just kind of like talk about things as they come up. But we're going to discuss Portal. I'm going to show you what they announced. We're going to talk about what it is, what it isn't, um, and what kind of potential it has. I'm exciting. I'm exciting? <laughs> I'm excited. As a software guy, getting access to some tools like this is pretty awesome. So let's switch over to the... Uh, EA Play Live event piece and we'll keep talking about it. All right, so I'm going to kick this off and then the first thing right. is if you didn't watch EA Play Live, I guess this the is a, a WWE guy who was hosting it, which I don't I don't know anything about that, but he was actually quite entertaining considering this was like a corporate scripted <gasps> thing. He was actually quite entertaining. Um, Battlefield is back, baby. Battlefield is back, baby. So they, the first part of this, they're going to show, you know, clips of the trailers that they've already shown. Um, and while it's doing that, since you guys have probably seen that, or check out my other videos for that, um, we're going to talk about kind of what is exciting about about the new Battlefield 2042 Portal event. Which, event experience which is that it's a sandbox for gameplay modes oh that's right i forgot they showed the fan reactions to some of this they do show the the stun gravy rendezvous reaction <laughs> which is kind of cool but yeah right here <laughs> um yeah so it's just i'm so excited for this game but even though this uh Portal is going to be like, um, like a side, like, I don't know, they call it one of the main experiences. It's going to be kind of a small portion of this. You're going to jump in, you want to play Conquest, you're going to want to play Rush, you're going to want to play Breakthrough. Um, you know, that's the core Battlefield experience, kind of what people think of. Um, but now they're announcing this Portal, which, the, the, the thing that it makes me think of, and I'm sure a lot of you thought this too, at least that have been around long enough, um, Halo 3 Forge, um, and I'm not sure if they kept Forge around in some of the later Halo games, but uh, anyway, in Halo 3 specifically, Bungie released Forge, which is, it was a map editor um, as well as kind of a game mode editor, so you could change up some of the game mode features and add things to the maps, you could place objects and stuff like that. This isn't necessarily the same as that because they have explicitly said this is not a map editor, although I don't know if they necessarily mean, just from a standpoint of you can't like manipulate the environment or change building locations and stuff like that. But what it is, is an editor from the standpoint it lets you shape game modes, use different weapon, like set weapon classes, set, you know, weapon characteristics, bullet velocities, you know, player movement speed, what kits people are allowed to use. And it, at, at launch, it covers four games. So there's factions from, factions and weapons from Battlefield 1942 from Battlefield Bad Company 2, from Battlefield 3, and from Battlefield 2042. And those are, like, just, that's an awesome set of things to start with. And I love this little Battlefield Bad Company 2 homage right out of the gate. Just, Bad Company 2 was, really was, especially with the campaign that it had such a great one. But here they're showing, like, defibrillators. So they show in here, like, knives versus defibrillators. They show a tank versus a bunch of like uh you know the mobile drones like a, a, a 
futuristic Russian jet being chased by a World War II plane. Oh, the tracer dart. Man, the, just the possibilities for the game modes are insane. Could you imagine, like, a game mode where you've got one team that just has aircraft and the other team only has tracer darts and unguided RPGs? So the only way for the ground troops to kill the air troops is to get tracer darts or to hit RPG shots, like, that aren't with the tracer darts, just to, like, lead things properly. I mean, defibs versus knives. I mean, the, 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 just the initial possibilities that they talk about or that they show are insane. Like, and they, they show some of the ones when they're breaking it down for the custom game modes where it's like 2042 versus 1942 where they do like a health modifier so that the 1942, the World War II soldiers have less health. 2042 soldiers are essentially like super soldiers. So it's like four versus 32. I mean, you could do sniper games where where you've got a, a bunch of uh, soldiers on one team versus two snipers on the other side, like a sniper and a spotter, and like they have like the the damage done by the uh, the the soldier team is like low, so they have to like hit the snipers a bunch to kill them, and then the snipers are like faster movement speed, they can hide and snipe like just I mean. This These possibilities are crazy. There's so many crazy things happening in this trailer. Crazy right things, crazy things. So they talk about this. I, I guess I'm talking over this whole thing, so maybe you're not getting it. But you guys probably all saw this. If you haven't seen this, you can go watch it on EA's YouTube channel. You can go watch the, the live segment. He's talking to the interviews. So here in the background, you'll see them um, discussing some of the options. So ridiculous like what the hell did we just see so what you just saw yeah was here let's listen it's a new community driven experience that gives players the freedom to write their own rules and shape their own battlefield community driven experience so it feels like the concept here is like battlefield forge but it's so exciting i just immediately my brain is running away with all these ideas for like for those of you who've been around the channel for a, a while or maybe if you're new you can go check them out uh back in the back in the xbox 360 days and in the earlier days of kind of uh, YouTube content creation for video games, there were, you know, common to do open lobbies, and some of that stuff still is around, depending on who you're watching these days, but an open lobby is essentially where you would just invite some of your subscribers, some of the people who watch your channel, into private matches to do games, like we did, like, Border Patrol on uh, Modern Warfare, like on COD 4, um, Infection, we did, like, uh, Cops and Robbers, like, there was just a lot of, like, really cool stuff that you just kind of did impromptu like you go into a private match invite people into but now it's that but way more advanced and on a much larger scale you can make it publicly available you can make these game modes you can i can i can create game modes and i can share them just with you guys or i can make them public and like you can go directly to them like we could create private lobbies you guys could come and we could play these game modes like you know, like 32 people versus Wheezy or whatever. Like, <laughs> like there's crazy stuff that you can do with this. And like the logic editor, the rule editor here where it can do things like, I don't know. It's just in addition to the core Battlefield experience and then this and then whatever they're going to announce in the future that's going to be there. It's not going to be a Battle Royale, but it's going to be there, you know, their answer to that. I mean... It's super exciting. Like, oh, he's talking about like shoddy snipers. Like, like a gun game with a whole bunch of shoddy snipes from all throughout history. That is a very specific gun game, shoddy snipers. So you like level up from one team has shotguns, the other team has snipers. Oh, I mean, so much cool stuff. No, that I that mean, could be possible with this so it's so exciting and i just i i mean jesus is it october yet like it just seems like this is the killer app for shooter fans this year i mean i don't i don't know what what call of duty is going to try and come out with but but this i mean we want this experience to go with Battlefield is going to be so in-depth and there's going to be so much to it. I'm just, I can't, I can't even wrap my head around how much 
how much love I'm going to be giving to this game. So, I, I, I mean, what is the, what are you guys, like, if you guys, when you see this, whether you've seen this before now or this is, this is your introduction to it, what were your first thoughts? Like, what was it that was, that your brain immediately started going to, like, what are some exciting things? Here's some examples. Um, I'll just, I'll just let them show these real quick. This is VIP Fiesta by Courage. It's the US factions of Battlefield 3 and Bad Company 2 facing off on Arica Harbor with 24 players and random loadouts. Die and you'll redeploy with an all new loadout. Track down that enemy VIP and make it count. Or bring the power of 2042 to Caspian border. And yeah, and these can be on the full size 128 player maps. Look at that, four players versus 32. By Gavitron. Small squad from 2042 are taking on 32 players from this is also showing just incidentally showing gameplay from the game the which is also there, exciting the past got the numbers destroy those mcoms but do it before your tickets are up you're not getting them back unless you clear the sector they, they kind of briefly even talk about that sector clearance right like you get refresh tickets when you capture a sector like with robot man the kind of things that you can set up. Roman Man 20, 20 players with drones versus one tank. I mean, you can just imagine stuff like this. Like, you know, you can imagine, like, a bunch of tanks. I don't know how many tanks that'll allow you to spawn into a map. But say it's a team of 8, 16 tanks, or maybe even more, against Chopper and 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 airplane pilots. Like, one, you know, two or three or four. You know, you need more tanks than aircraft. To kind of balance it, if you will, but because the aircraft would have a big advantage over just like tanks. But I mean, just stuff. I'm like, I just can't even. So many possibilities, and the community is going to come up with crazy stuff, and and it's just I don't. Know. And this is just on top of the fact that ba Battlefield's core game modes are just going to be. They look so amazing. They're going to be so good for this. So day one launch with Portal. Okay, this is this is fantastic. Christian, it's just so go, exciting. I just sure I'm nerding out all, all over this straight. stuff. So on top of all the content and maps that have let's, already been oh announced, oh my goodness! Here, let's also uh. get content from Battlefield 1942, Bad Company 2, and Battlefield 3, including six of the best maps of all time, and all that can be sliced, diced, and mixed together in Portal. And then we still and then they've talked about they're going to expand on this year. too. Yes, that's exactly what I'm telling you. They're going to add you've always been a fan or going forward. So this is before. like, they say this is an experience. I feel like this is going to be another kind of like almost standalone piece. Like it'll evolve maybe Christian. with other Battlefield games. I don't know. Just, just thank you. Thank you. My pleasure, Austin. I'll see you on the battlefield. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it's just... I, it's, I, I'm so excited. Are you guys excited? I let's. I just, I can't wait. I can't wait. You know, I'm sorry this is a little scattered, but I'm just kind of like dorking out. I wanted to get something out so we could talk about it, so I could talk a little bit to you guys about this. Keep that Battlefield hype train, go hype train, hype train, hype train going. Sorry for the mess. Still getting the office unpacked. Still kind of settling things from the move. Gonna try and ramp things back up. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully you guys are as psyched as I am for Battlefield content. I. Uh, I'm going to stop because I'm just losing my shit. If you guys like this mode, like if you're excited for it, if you like this video, give me a like. If you guys don't like me rambling about random shit, let me know. Leave me a dislike. Um, if you guys are new here, subscribe to become my minions. I love all of you. We're going to, there's so much cool stuff that's going to be coming soon. I just can't even, I just can't even. I'll talk to you guys later.